It's no secret that the next generation Wrangler is right around the corner. And with the new JL coming out at the end of this year, Jeep is sending out the JK in style. One of the coolest concepts at this year's Easter Jeep Safari is the Jeep Safari. The Safari Wrangler takes a unique approach of bringing the outdoors that much closer on the next family adventure, providing the vibe of open air freedom while still keeping the doors and top on. The Jeep team accomplished this with wind doors these translucent window and door pieces used in place of the JK Unlimited's traditional four doors. The vinyl and aluminum doors help keep the cabin sealed, but make sure everyone in the car gets a great view of the action. There's even a translucent hardtop panel used on the roof as well. Head of Jeep Design Mark Allen likes to put little Easter eggs on some of the concepts, and there are a few things on the Safari that might signal what we'll see on the JL later this year like the windshield being angled back three degrees, and the fact that all of the lighting, including the headlamps, tail lamps, fog lamps, and turn signals are concept LEDs. In terms of its trail prowess, Jeep again went with a smaller two inch JPP lift with Fox shocks to keep a low center of gravity, and then they trimmed the wheel wells and installed custom high clearance fender flares. This gave them enough space to fit 35 inch BF Goodrich mud trains on custom 18 inch wheels. Aside from the unique wind doors, Jeep used modified front and rear Fiat 500 Abarth bucket seats, both front and rear. They also used a Fiat 500X steering wheel and an integrated iPod instrument panel is found with Google Maps right in the center of the dash. Instead of traditional floor liners, they went with a spray-in bed liner on the floor to make cleanup just that much easier after a trail ride. Now the base platform for the Jeep Safari concept is a Wrangler Rubicon. So come standard with Dana 44s, selectable rear lockers. So obviously it's already got pretty competent off-road handling, but they added a two inch Jeep performance part lift to it and uh, stuff 35 inch BFG cam twos under here. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm not wearing a seat belt, this is a concept and uh, somewhere along the way earlier today, seatbelt got broken so we're just gonna take it easy here you know Jeep did what they've done with a lot of concepts lately which is you know kind of pull out of the Jeep performance parts catalog so the two inch lift low center of gravity do a lot of trimming use the high clearance fender flares and uh, you know reminding me safety first here with the seatbelt but the, what that does is it really creates a better handling Wrangler overall so you have a very capable vehicle that still rides really nice and plush. Um, we really like this. This, you know, it's kind of a, it's got a really modern and futuristic design and that's kind of the look they were going for. It almost like has a Land Rover feel to it, you know, more upscale, um, you know, light design, the yellow paint, the aluminum, white. It's just kind of got this real clean look and finish. And then obviously it's just, it's very bright in here. It's a really cool idea. And I, I, I like the whole concept of, you know, bringing the outdoors in and, and kind of creating a, a more interconnected experience with everyone in the car, even if they're not driving. Now, Many of the features on the Jeep Safari are just pure fantasy. We're never gonna see wind doors on a production Jeep and probably never see them in the pages of a Mopar catalog. But we do have a sneaking suspicion that there's a few features on this that echo what we're gonna see on the JL later this year. And we can't wait for the next generation Wrangler, but we kind of feel like we're getting a sneak peek with the Jeep Safari.